uh, dissipate information about how speed run, how to speed run. Uh, I'm gonna be showing off uh, strats, so it's gonna be slower. Then afterwards, we're gonna be doing some top ten runs, um, trying to get into the top ten. Uh, this time we'll be on PC, so that's why I have my live split set up. But um, this will give you guys an idea of how to do top ten runs. And how you can get started if you're a brand new live streamer uh, and, you know, or I'm sorry, you're a brand new speedrunner and you're trying to get better strats, this should help you. Um, if you are a somebody who's looking into speedrunning and you're like, man, a lot of these strats look really complicated, uh, I, I, this feels, uh, it feels like a high barrier to entry. I will show some beginner strats so that you can get into it, get your first couple of, uh, you know, PBs out of the way, you know, those one hours before you start getting to the sub hours and then the 55 minutes and then going on from there. So let's go ahead and get into this. Let me start my Resident Evil here. Now, the big thing to note is that this is more specifically for the console versions, uh, which is my... Immediately die. Came too hard. Deleted. <laughs> Yeah, this is more specifically for the console versions of the game um, Because that is actually what I run I run the console versions That's why there's a controller up on screen that should be working um, Yep, looks like it is working So you guys can see my inputs as we go through here and for some reason, that likes to change itself to 1600p instead of 1440, which is what I always have it set up. So I highly recommend that the first thing that you do before anything uh, is to make sure that you have settings that are set up so that you can get stable performance. If you're doing this um, on PC, this is what you're going to want to do. If you're doing this on console, uh, turn on high frame rate mode if you have a monitor that supports it. It will definitely help. I did my first couple of streams without high frame rate mode, and uh, it was a little—it was a little tough, um, to say the least. Uh, let me fix that uh, frame rate counter or the frame rate counter here, so that's in a better position. The button mash and then the controller smash. Okay, yeah, it's like peeking out between uh, behind the controller, so that's pretty good spot for it. I've never, I will say, I have broken a keyboard. I've never broken a controller. I've never gotten mad enough. Usually, instead of uh, like smacking the desk with my controller, I use my fist. It hurts. Uh, thankfully, I have a nice mouse mat, so. I don't actually do any real damage to my hand, um, but that's usually how it goes down. Uh, let's go ahead and jump in here. So this is going to specifically be Claire A um, that I'm going to be showing you guys. Uh, first of all, if you're doing it on PC, uh, make sure that you are setting either to 60 FPS or 120. Uh, if you do have 144 Hertz monitor like I do, uh, you will not, you should not be using the full mount because the community actually voted a while back and if for the, uh, speed runs because of the knife, the knife particularly has a value that's set within it that is tied to the frame rate. So you could have the most powerful PC in the world and get, you know, a hundred and or like 360 FPS. They didn't want anybody basically using a powerful PC to gain an advantage. So they use 120 FPS and uh, 60 FPS for people who are going to be using like a standard monitor or people who are going to have a gaming monitor so that we can get an advantage of, uh, you know, better refresh rates with the gaming monitor while not uh, excluding the people who just have a standard monitor.
And if you're doing New Game Plus, I highly recommend that you do it on Assisted. I have done it on Hardcore and Standard. As a matter of fact, my first ever PB was done on Standard. Um, as was my second PB, which was a 56. Uh, and then I proceeded to get a 5602 on Hardcore. Um, I actually do hold the first place of New Game Plus uh, Hardcore. So, uh, if you do end up wanting to do a higher, uh, you know, a, a higher difficulty, you can do that. However, I recommend that you, for your first playthroughs, you actually cut your teeth on, uh, assisted or standard. Okay, so right off the bat, you're going to want to immediately go into running with Claire and you'll see right here that um i'm spamming two buttons i'm spamming the l3 and the x button on my uh controller and you may notice that my uh live split has also started that is because it is set to in-game time it compares against in-game time now once you're in here you're gonna immediately want to go to the left that is the way that you can save about a second in this okay? gas station it's not too terribly hard and you Wait probably here. just saw Let's me it uh spamming it and moving immediately left the best way to open up Don't doors is to closer. actually press the x button it is the fastest way to do it uh and you can do that by spamming whatever button is uh don't do that so don't do what i just did um Basically, what sometimes you just gotta have a, a really bad first zombie, um, and I'm about. And I'll show a more basic strat. This is actually a strat that I used for the first. Gosh, side. What was it? The first, um, like maybe th two or three weeks that a speed ran, where I would let the zombie pass by. Okay. So let's go back over here. Wait here. We'll check it out. Don't come any closer. So the beginner strat is well, if he doesn't do that. Let me reload the save here. Yeah, it moves a bit faster. Yeah, so if you are playing hardcore, you actually have to let the zombie go by. But uh, in assisted or standard, a good beginner strategy is just let him, let him go by until you get comfortable with doing the more hardcore strat. Uh, you are going to want to know how to do fast menuing. So I usually learned uh, by doing a good fast menu with uh, the control or the D-pad. A good fast Don't menu shoot. can really Get help down. with certain situations. You probably just saw as well that I just did an, a method known as quick turning. Quick turning is actually so that you, you can get, get around like edges uh, a lot faster. Yeah. And the gas station can save you as much as a second. Um, and these seconds add up, and they're ri they're like they're basically gimme seconds um, because the the movement is not too hard. And I, once we get into RPD. I will show um, exactly how to do quick turning uh, because in RPD, um, you know, it's not a event where you're having to run away from the zombies. Attention all citizens. Do quick run face first into the, it's not 10% of the time. It's like 3% of the time. <laughs> So immediately you're going to want to run away oh, no. from this zombie. It starts you forward, so don't get tricked uh, by running forward. You're going to immediately want to run backwards. I usually have to quick turn on this car right here. Otherwise, I don't get an aggressive uh, limbless. And this limbless zombie, basically what he does is he puts Claire into a caution state. Claire actually runs faster in caution than she does in um, the standard. Uh, you know, fine state. The police station. And What's the there? process you just saw there is a process known as stair skating. Stair skating can increase your movement by one and a half times. 
Uh, if you are doing this on the Xbox Series X or PlayStation 5 series of consoles, uh, you will actually, um, I'm sorry, the Xbox series of consoles and then the PlayStation 5 series of consoles, you will actually have slower and it's more like 1.35. So let's go ahead and demonstrate how to do quick turning on a controller. Uh, so it can be very, very tricky to do on a controller. It took me a while before I was actually able to do it. And I still don't do it very consistently. Um, simply put, it is one of those things that it takes time to really master. And there's not always, and it's not always the most lucrative approach whenever you're running or doing console speed runs, um, because of the fact that it does turn a little bit slower than a mouse and keyboard but mouse and keyboard i think has navigational issues that uh you know the top speed runners are going to be doing a mouse and keyboard run um but i think that there are some navigational issues that come into play so let's go ahead and demonstrate both of these strats on the stairs so these stairs are a really good area to practice on uh so you can practice your stair skating now you don't want to have you don't want to spam it i did i used to spam by stair skating and went like this, basically. You don't want to do that. It's going to slow you down. You just want a nice, consistent rhythm to your stair skating. And if you can get into that consistent rhythm, and the camera actually also makes a little bit of a difference. Now, I so I, if you can figure out where the camera is supposed to be aiming, uh, you actually can get a small boost. I think it's about a 5% boost. Um, and as opposed to standard stair skating. So like right there, uh, it's roughly at a, I don't know, 60 degree angle going upward that the camera is most optimally placed. Now let's go ahead and try some quick turning. So if you go over here, quick turning on a controller is you literally have to swipe left and then hit the, uh, left left trigger that's basically what you do it's it's literally swipe left hit the left trigger and again these stairs are really good for doing a lot of this training uh and once you get good enough you can easily hit uh stair skating i used to be really really bad at stair skating um and i remember looking back at a lot of my earlier uh speed runs of being like wow i really just could not get this yeah left right dodge turn um and then just keep practicing on this until you uh get comfortable or just learn it through speed running like i did i learned it all life you can ask SciSpy, he's actually the person that's in chat that you're seeing on the screen if you are watching the video version of this. Uh, he saw me basically go from never using quick turns or um, ever, or and having terrible stair skating to where my stair skating is pretty decent and I use quick turns quite a, quite a lot. I don't always use them. There are a couple areas that I definitely skimp out on using them. Uh, because I do run console. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue forward here. So, once you enter RPD, you're going to want to run over to this thing. Uh, and immediately you can just, uh, chop it down and then go through that door. Uh, I recommend actually aiming the camera so that you can save as much time as possible. Yes, if you are doing this on a uh, PC, run DirectX 11. DirectX 12 not only has the uh, nerf stair skating from the updated console versions, but it also has issues oh, with stuttering. Now the, now, the DirectX 11 version game can stutter occasionally. Uh, it's not the greatest thing in the world, but it is significantly less noticeable. And I only noticed it during times of... Um, where it was having to load in a brand new area or something. So this door right here is the infamous door. So the beginner strat is to run over to this door, pause, wait for a few seconds, 
and then unpause and the zombie will burst in and immediately run by but let's uh do a little bit more of a professional strat so if you're trying to get a little bit better at this one of the best strats to use is to do the exact same thing but get closer to the door pause and then aim and it won't knock you back if you are at the right distance uh but you can be significantly closer than usual these two zombies are kind of a joke you can actually just run right through them there is a chance that one of them will grab you it's like a five percent chance or something um but honestly they are pretty much a joke so whenever you get the knife immediately just you know spam the x button and then run over to here now i recommend aiming the camera backwards because it'll spit you out in the right direction yeah, unless you're on hardcore, then you're dead. So, once you get to the item box, you will notice uh, in a lot of my speed runs, the item box, I, I call a good or bad item box. And that is because you have to store a lot of your equipment. Now, one of the best things for beginners to do is to uh, dump all of their equipment and grab two items. Now, as you get better, you can actually dump all your equipment and grab only one. The reason why I say this is because um, you're actually going to want to, as you start getting better, you're going to want to use the knife uh, as a beginner. And I'm sorry, I said that back. Whenever you're a beginner, you're going to want to use the knife. As you get better, you're gonna you're gonna start ditching the knife. The knife is it because it's going to slow you down. It's going to waste time. It's going to give you uh, a bunch of things. Try not to spend too many too much time in menus because they are the biggest time waste. Um, whenever I first started, I was actually under the impression that menus paused the timer. I didn't know until I did, I think, my third run that they actually, uh, the timer in the game keeps counting up. This is one of, this is a game that uses a method known as IGT or in-game time um, instead of RTA or real-time attack. Uh, I actually do speed run another game known as Tomb Raider. Uh, and that game uses RTA or real-time attack. I think that this game is definitely a lot better for, um, you know, beginners. Because it does use in uh, in-game time as opposed. Additionally, uh, if you are a beginner, the biggest things is you cannot be on a pause screen for more than uh, two minutes. Two minutes is the cap. And you can also cannot pause screen abuse which means that you unpause and then repause like two seconds later. Uh, if you use it, you can use the pause time or pause screen strategically. If you need to learn about puzzles, it is a good way to uh, do it whenever you get to puzzle areas. So let's go ahead and dump our equipment here. And I'm going to go ahead and get out the rocket launcher and the combat knife. The two things that do not count towards in-game time are cutscenes and the pause screen. Because the pause screen, literally, you can actually see the timer up at the top, and so it literally is pausing the time. So let's go ahead and continue through here. Nothing too crazy with strats here. Uh, there is one strat. So as a beginner strat, whenever you get to the hanging zombie, that has the pipe through his face. Uh, you, if you're a beginner, go th on the left side and just make a nice wide berth around him and uh, just run around him. Basically how you do in a normal game. However, if you are trying to get better, you actually can go on the right side of him um, if you hug the wall for a brief moment. You just have to run right here and then you can come up off the wall and continue going forward. And we're just going to keep going forward here. You don't need to collect anything in this room. Uh, I recommend that you learn your pathing if you're a beginner. Uh, like, play this game normally a couple of times. Really learn uh, the map uh, and everything where you need to go. Learn your pathing. Uh, it can be really helpful. Now, right here, you're going to want to shoot the ceiling. This is because there's a zombie actually up on the third floor that is going to uh, be up there. And getting rid of him is essential. 
because you're going to be coming back to these stairs. And as you saw, you saw the co combination of stair skating and my quick turns right there for those stairs. Grab that key and you can go ahead and head out. What was that? 50 m dodging to the left. Yes, so uh, going to the right instead of the left is something that it, that's why I said it's a it's a it's about two to three second time save going to the right of the uh, hanging zombie. Now, right here is a big skip. Uh, this skip this is called known as the Marvin dialogue skip, um, and basically what it does it skips past an entire I think. 30 seconds to a minute of dialogue that where you can only walk um now a good beginner strat is if you having trouble doing this skip is to immediately go over to here and uh jump drop down that little area so that it crashes you down to the ground a better skip is to use over here and using the marvin dialogue skip so what it is is they're like right next to this pillar basically uh is where the trigger happens because you're going to be wanting to go down this little ladder uh because the pathing best pathing is to use this ladder and then use that later so usually what i do as i come creening through the door is i kind of run to about right here then i pull out this and I got I actually got a hit Come with it uh, because I moved forward enough. I've got something to show you. So let me actually reload and I'll show you guys how to do it. This is how it would play out. This is how this entire section would play out normally. And there you go, you get the skip. Now, the next thing, um, this is pretty much a free time save. I don't think it's too terribly tricky uh, in my personal thing. I actually just didn't know about it whenever I first started. Uh, so basically, whenever you're running after doing the Marvin dialogue skip, before you hit the stair, or I'm sorry, the ladder, not the stairs, um, shooting a rocket like right before It'll take a minute to get the timing down, and if you're a beginner, you'll probably want to slow this part down. Um, just shooting a rocket about right here, or like hitting this wall, or hitting right here. It'll, it's a good chance that you'll kill every single zombie in this area. Now, there is one zombie known as Eleanor. She is the biggest RNG about this area. So, let's shoot a rocket right there. And we actually did get Eleanor. So this is Eleanor. Now, there are time. There's a couple places that she can stand. She can either be literally right here. She will be right here. About right here. As you can ev see evidence by the leg. Or she'll be back here somewhere. On this side of the table. If she's on this side of the table, that fucking sucks. That is her worst RNG. And I've definitely had... Yeah, that was the long range AOE. Um, I've definitely had a few runs that I've that I've had to reset because she's on this side of the table. Um, if that does happen, what I always recommend after you come down the ladder is to actually go this way so you can see where Eleanor is. No, the AOE is not expanded for DirectX 11. Sorry. 
But she was standing about right here, though. And I shot right here. So they that's about standard AoE. But yeah, if uh, she does happen to be on the other side, depending on where she is, you're going to want to shoot there or want to shoot at the banister, sort of. Uh, those are the best places to deal with Eleanor if she's not in the best position. It's It loses a couple seconds, but you do have to come back through here, so it's going to save you a possible bite. Moves around. Yeah, sometimes she's on the even on the stairs. Uh, yeah, she got blasted all the way over here. But her leg, you can see her leg and where the gore is. She was standing about right here. So immediately come over here and open this up. Now, one of the big things is going to be inventory management. It was one of the major things that slowed me down in my early days uh, was inventory management. My inventory management has really gone up. I think it's the entire reason why I got my first 50 or sub 50 run was because my inventory management went really up. Um, so you're always going to want to make sure that this first slot is, a, is open and possibly these other two slots as well. They're going to be your most primary important slots in the entire game uh, because they're going to allow you to do very quick, um, very, very quick mo motions on doors uh, or interactions with certain objects. Let's go over to the lion statue for a second. Uh, so you, uh, despite the fact that you get the Marvin dialogue, you actually don't have to go talk to Marvin. I actually did that during like my first, I think before I started getting, uh, I started getting 55 runs. Uh, I actually did that and it was actually one night. I would think it was my last run and I was on PB pace and I, I literally asked Sai, who's in chat, if I could skip Marvin like early um, and he, and he let me know that it could. So if you are alive and you have people in your chat, definitely uh, rely on them if you aren't sure about strats because they will save your ass a lot. <laughs> so go over here and so there are two ways to flip these uh, little dials. You can either use your D-pad, like so, but this is the slowest way because you're actually limited by um, how fast the thing is. The faster way is going to be your control stick. You, you should be able to flip these dials a lot faster with your control stick. And the reason for this is because the control stick doesn't have a release time, basically. It pretty much comes back dead center. So. For the lion statue, you're gonna meet, you're gonna want to do lion head. Uh, this like weird arrow fig leaf thing. I, I always just called it the weird arrow. And then you're gonna want to do the eagle, and th that's gonna be your first uh, pattern. Then you're gonna just make your way all the way over. If you if you know your route, you know your pathing. Um, you're gonna be able to just do this part all by yourself. That's the biggest. That's the biggest thing about speed running is to first learn your pathing. Your first runs are gonna suck. Okay, so right there, there's a helicopter crash. Now, if you're uh, if you're just getting into speed running, I actually do recommend uh, that you just take the hit and keep going. Um, but I'll show you guys exactly how to do this if you are starting to become a lot better with your speed runs and you're wanting to save a little bit of time. You like you're starting to save look at strats to save seconds. So let's go ahead and do this entire section as it's intended. And occasionally, Claire will get stuck on the banisters for some reason. Um, I, it, I don't know why it happens, but it's like her back just gets stuck on them. I usually call it bad stairs if that happens.
time savers on yes i have found time savers on my own there are definitely strats that i picked up and learned on my own uh there's strats that i even invented that are good for new to uh newcomers but we'll get to those And Sai helped with uh, a few of the strats too. He actually showed me one strat that I'm still currently working on, known as the grab cancel maneuver. Um, I still haven't mastered that one, Sai. <laughs> All right, so you're gonna immediately want to turn like whenever you see the light flash before. Uh, the professional strat is to immediately turn to the left. And if you have the camera properly, uh, Claire will take a back hit, which is about a second or two. It's like a second and a half, I think, shorter. You don't know what to do off stream, Sai. Oh, sorry. Okay, so right there, I just did the second of the Marvin skips. So the way to do the second of the Marvin skip is to count to to uh, to count to two in your head, shoot the ground, and then wait for it until Claire's animation resets. So whenever she does this flinching animation, she goes through an animation reset, and you can always tell because her hand will shift back into position. So let's look at the animation reset one more time. And her hand shifts back in position. That's whenever you, you... And then wait a second, and then you can immediately start running. Immediately put the bolt cutters into the top slot. Uh, it'll take a minute for you to get masterful with doing that. Uh, the best way is after you do that to immediately run to the left and uh, hit, the, like, hit A. Uh, most of the time, whenever I get to do this, I just start spamming. Um, there's a lot of spamming that I do in this game. <laughs> that's, that's, I think that's like, I think that's like at least 50% of speed runs is you're spamming buttons. Um, so go ahead and open this up. Now, right here, let's talk about RNG for a second. There is a chance that the zombie that you, that you bypassed earlier is going to be in this hallway. There's a couple of different places that he can be. The first place is that he's beyond this wall. The second place is right here. The third place is that he's like right next to this trash can. Uh, the last place is that he's actually right in front of you. And there's this zombie, but he's not much of a threat. Need a few more runs for that. Yeah. Uh, that he's by this trash can. You can bypass him if he's right there. The other chance is that he's somewhere around here. This is the worst place that he can be. Now, if he is somewhere around here, shoot this wall over here if you see him. Uh, one of the things that I do see a couple of speedrunners use is that the minute that they go through the door, they pause to make sure that he's not right there. I don't do that. I kind of just go to by the fly of my cuff, and if I need to shoot, I shoot. All right, so here's where I'm about to get a little controversial. Now, one of the big things that I do that a lot of New Game Plus speedrunners don't do is I incorporate cast strats. For those that are not not familiar with cast strats, cast strats are actually the New Game Standard strats. Um, I incorporate cast strats into my New Game Plus speedruns. So how are you supposed to do this area if you're doing New Game Plus? is you pick up the fuse, and then you pick up the valve. How I do it is I pick up the valve, put it into the second slot, pick up the fuse, and then put it into the third slot. And then I go over to here. And then you just place it into the spot. Uh, I used to do, or occasionally I'll do like, what's known as the rocket shot for luck and kill those zombies. I don't always do it. Um, it was kind of just a joke that I started doing. Um, but if you want, so if you want to do that. And once again, you're going to be encountering the hanging zombie. 
I'm gonna do go to the right. All right, so this zombie up here is known as Bagels. Uh, I can't, uh, no, I actually call him Yellow Jack. I call him both. I, you'll hear me in streams say both. I, I've said Yellow Jacket and I say Bagels as well. Uh, the joke of Yellow Jacket actually came from a conversation about Wasp that me and Psy Spy had where we were talking about yellow jacket wasps and how they're assholes. Uh, from there, because I used to just call him the yellow jacket zombie. From there, I just started calling him straight yellow jacket uh, because he's a dick. His RNG is by far one of the worst. He can actually kill a run if he wants to. Um, so the big thing that I recommend to every beginner speedrunner is if in doubt to go ahead and shoot a rocket shoot it at that wall or if he's in the hallway shoot it just behind him and just deal with him if you are more advanced speed running he doesn't have to be in if he doesn't happen to be in the hallway highly recommend that you um still shoot the wall because honestly taking the chances unless you're really trying to get into the top 10. if you're really trying to get into the top 10 you may start wanting to bet on him uh, if he's not already in the hallway. Because it will save you a few seconds at a time. And whenever you're trying to get into top 10, that is really where it get, becomes important is the, in those couple of seconds that you can skim off. So before you, uh, once you open up this door, before you come into here, you're going to immediately want to discard the, uh, the bolt cutters. This is another cash strat. A lot of new game plus speedrunners either uh, will only discard the spade key or will um, discard only the bolt cutters. I do both. Um, and they'll just move one of the other ones around. I actually even used to do that myself. But I found it's much uh, better at the very end if you just discard both of these items. Um, then immediately you can go ahead and grab the bomb diffuser and continue forward. And it'll immediately put it in your first spot. This guy has minor RNG. Uh, there's a chance that he's facing towards you, the chance that he is not in the uh, in your way, and a chance that he is facing away from you. The chance that he's facing away from you or is not even in your way are the best RNG possible. Uh, the chance that he's facing towards you is the worst RNG, but it's also the lowest. Um... And then if if he happens to be facing towards you, there's also a chance that he's a delayed uh, reaction, which is the best RNG of the worst RNG, uh, or an immediate reaction, which is the worst RNG of the worst RNG. So let's go ahead and continue. I got uh, the I got the good RNG on him. Once again, just combining your strats. And you can actually get in front of that uh, zombie right there. Now, it does take time before you're actually able to get in front of her. Uh, the first several runs that I did, I had to run behind her. Um, so, you know, just practice. If you can't get in front of her, just run behind her. She doesn't do anything. This liquor is known as Randy. Randy is a dick. Um, so, if you're a beginner, I recommend shooting a rocket at him. Because... Honestly, if you're a beginner, it's gonna it, it he will kill a run, straight up. It, I can't even tell you how many runs that I've had that Randy has fucking destroyed. Um, but if you're more advanced, bypassing him is a good idea. So looking down like this, uh, should give him an animation set. Running out of here, you will get a few chances of RNG. Make sure you, you keep the camera on him, though, so that he doesn't um, basically uh, unload. Because if a liquor unloads, that means that they are going to take the direct path directly to you if you are making noise. Um, but if you keep your camera on them, they have to, they have to abide by the rules of physics. Uh, meaning that they're not going to take the path directly to you. If you're making noise, they have to turn around, do their animations... Do all that kind of stuff. It's a it's a strat that's definitely for advanced speedrunners, and it is not a guarantee. So if you are a beginner speedrunner, 
just shoot him before you head into the star's office. You can shoot him the minute that you walk through that door. I cannot stress this one enough. All right, so moving on to the unicorn puzzle. Uh, the unicorn puzzle is arguably the most annoying uh, because the characters that are used are the least visually distinct. Uh, so the first one is going to be the fish. It's going to be the two fish that are basically on top of each other. And you're going to... And you... Knowing how the wheel works and everything like that, that's going to be take time before you even end up getting it. It's also going to be the scorpion and the bag of sand. Yes, if he's on the if he's on the floor or on the ceiling, that's the best case scenario because uh, I'm sorry, on the wall or on the ceiling, that's the best case scenario because he actually has to get down onto the floor in order to get you. Um, but I got a I got one of the weird ones where he actually attacks the door uh, and he uh, so he ends up behind you and you just keep running and he has to like turn around to do all that kind of stuff. This one is um, the so it's good fish scorpion bag of sand. So this is why you want to get rid of Eleanor so you can pass through here in peace now. One strat that I would definitely recommend if you're a beginner speedrunner is to go ahead and move this over. Uh, if you are a more advanced speedrunner, save it for later. You're going to move it over once if you're a beginner. Go ahead and grab your bags here. Make sure to spam so that it goes by as fast as possible. Place that. Shoot a rocket over to here. And then run back. This is a really easy thing. Wait until this counts down from basically under a second and then shoot a rocket right at it. If you do that, it puts Claire into a suspended animation uh, that where she flinches, the same flinch that we saw earlier. Um, and it bypasses the animation from the C4 that goes off. I honestly think that that is a f gimme because uh, literally wait until it basically gets under a second. You, you can actually see it. You can see the timer. Just aim. Just get right up against that wall and aim. All right. So this one is actually um, one of the easiest, I think. Um, but it can confuse you. So this one's an angel head, but it, it's like all scuffed up. Uh, the reason why I think that this is the um, the maiden statue, I always call it the angel statue, though. Uh, as you can see by my strats, strats I even say angel. Uh, this one is the easiest because it's the it's always the most scuffed up one. However, this right here is what always gets me because it's a bow and arrow as the second one, and the lion has an arrow. So if you're like like having to think about 500 things whenever speed running uh you know you're thinking about the next thing to do the next thing to do the next thing to do it's really good it's really easy to get tripped up by that and then lastly it's going to be the snake uh again this one i think is the easiest because it's literally the most scuffed up uh <laughs> dials All right, so whenever you encounter this Randy right here, uh, this one is also called Randy. All the liquors are actually called Randy. Um, you are going to want to aim up at the ceiling. The reason for this is, so remember what I said about loading and unloading liquors. Uh, if you unload a liquor, it means they cannot use their tongue on you. I've actually gotten hit by a liquor's tongue before. It's annoying because it's like it's like this two second animation reset that you're just like really are you fucking kidding me kind of deal. I didn't I don't call them Randy or I didn't name them Randy. Uh, the community named them Randy. But yeah. Immediately aim up, and then once you bypass him, you can uh, go ahead. That's in, that's actually a really easy gimme. 
all you have to do to bypass him is aim up, run to the right of him. Don't run directly at him. Like, like don't run directly at him. Um, run to the right of him and then just go through the door. And then you're good. All right. Now, if you didn't get the Marvin skip, go down the ladder over there. Uh, if you did get the Marvin skip, uh, go this way. All right, so you should about to see the major benefit of having good inventory management. You notice all my medallions are in very accessible locations within one button press of being able to be placed. So I can literally place these as fast as possible. And I usually do a time check here uh, because it lets me know if I need to reset a run. Alright, so here's Birkin 1. So, uh, it, also known as G1. I call him, but I actually call him, call him Birkin 1. Better to be said in 9 minutes than when you get to sewers. Yeah, it's always better to, the reason why, I, so for those that don't know what Psy means, uh, the reason why I do a time check in, uh, in basement is because if I get a really bad, really bad by basement time, after RPD-1, there is a significantly noticeable amount of RNG drop. Um, RPD-1 is very RNG heavy. Um, at, for New Game Plus, Cass is RNG heavy, like, most of the way through, um, but for new game plus, there the RPD one is your RNG is is RNG nightmare fuel, um, bagels, the liquor, um, the uh, the fucking Eleanor, um, and uh, even even fucking sometimes getting Marvin dialogue skipped too uh, can fuck you over. And any one of those can literally make a run terrible. Not only that, if you scuff up anything or do anything like that, just having a time check is really good. Uh, simply for the fact that you know you can you can do your time check and know if you fucked up hard enough that you just need a reset because you you know you're not going to get a PB with this time. Give me one second. Let me get some water. So it's better to reset early than to realize that you have a bad run late and have to reset. It hurts whenever you reset late. And I've had very I've had a lot of heartbreaking moments. Uh most recently I had a run that was on PB pace and I got grabbed by a G adult. Because I wanted to bypass him. So, but anyway, G1 or Birkin 1. Really easy fight. Uh, basically, what you do, you take out your rocket and you aim at that wall to the left there. This wall over here, shoot it twice. And if you're going fast, you're going to want to, you know, immediately flip over. Uh, try not to hit the grate that he's standing in front of. Or, I'm sorry, standing behind. Um, if you can get in front of Sherry, I accidentally hit my uh, aim a little early. Let me actually do this one more time so I can show you how to get in front of Sherry. Can show you guys how to do this area properly. Oh, 
Oh, see, I did. I, I flipped too hard over. So if you hit that grate, you do get a um, animation reset uh, flinch. Uh, whenever you're going fast, it's going to happen every once in a while. Like you just saw, it just happened to me. So getting in front of Sherry can save you a few seconds. It's a, it's a pretty easy gimme. Uh, you just have to run to the left and stay to the left. And then immediately uh, quick turn onto the stairs. And you can bypass Sherry's dialogue if you want to by just shooting the floor and flinching yourself. I usually do it because listening to Sherry's voice gets on my nerves. Whenever you do, whenever you speed running this, you know, so two, three times a week. He, um, worked with my mom, but he's gone. Wow. Over there! It's close. And getting a good actually exit there. So let me explain for a second. You may notice that I press buttons in a pretty uh, quick succession. That was actually a little slower than I usually do it. I was a little bit off there. Oops. Um, so basically what you're going to want to do there is what, uh, as you start getting closer, I kind of know exactly where I'm supposed to uh, press the button, which is why you saw uh -uh, instead of spam 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 and then and then oh the best way to do it whenever you're starting out before you kind of get the timing down is to uh actually just spam it and then immediately hit oh uh once you start getting better and better and better you'll start knowing the timing and you'll be able to exit quickly uh the best way is to immediately go xo is or uh if you're on a xbox controller ab he card first, and then that asshole gets what's coming to him. Okay, before we enter here, you're about to see a couple of shots in play. So, remember what I said about looking up at the ceiling whenever dealing with Randy? Do that, you're, whenever you enter here, you're going to immediately look up at the ceiling, and then you're going to run. Uh, all the way through, you're going to run to the right of the uh, creature. Now, if you're a beginner, I actually recommend that if you're a beginner, you actually shoot a rocket the minute you step through that door right at the back wall. Because um, if you shoot a rocket whenever you walk through that door right at the back wall, it'll kill both liquors and you can continue forward. Um, and, it, and it'll make it so that this area is less RNG um, and you don't have, you don't have as much stress. This is, it's a really good strat for beginners, I think, um, to just go ahead and shoot the wall. But if you're more advanced, uh, do what I'm about to do, and I'll show you guys exactly what it is in a second. Oh, don't get stuck on the wall. For those that don't know, I actually have a geom I actually have a joke called Claire get off the geometry uh, because I uh, routinely run into geometry. I'm not as bad as I used to be, but I still do it. Um, so what you just saw right there, the minute I ran through, I looked up at the ceiling. Looking up at the ceiling unloads the liquor. Uh, you saw that he was about to swipe me, but I was able to go to the right of him. Uh, then I immediately look down at the floor. That unloads the liquor that's on the ceiling uh, so that he doesn't hit you with his tongue. And then as you go down the stairs, just make a right and go through. Oops, don't quit the game. And right here is pretty standard. You should already know how to do this if you have your pathing down. All right, so here's a good strat um, to use. The immediate, the second you get through that door, immediately aim and shoot this wall. It'll piss, it'll, at, at the very minimum, it's going to piss off that liquor that's back there. Best case scenario is that he dies. Uh, worst case scenario is that he's alive, 
but he w let me get through here and I'll show you guys exactly where he can be if you just piss him off. So look at the floor, look up, and then right turn up here. And those liquors should leave you alone. There's a chance that they'll slash you if they come through. So I actually kill them. So yeah, he's gonna keep hitting the door. Um if you just piss him off piss this liquor off. He will actually be right in front of this door. The minute that you open it, he'll slash the door. Uh, and that'll allow you the chance to run around him. And once you run around him, uh, make sure to keep, again, keep your camera aimed at him. And then run over here. If you want to feel, if you're feeling ballsy, you can move your camera away. I definitely have done it before. Um, so, but yeah, that's, that's the best way to deal with it. Must be where that guy came from. Again, this part is just pathing, so, you know, just learn your route. Do all that kind of stuff. All right. So this is actually the heart key. So once you pick this up, immediately move over. Uh, you'll, you'll notice that it's going to put into its second slot. Immediately move it over to the first slot. Yes, don't get... That... It's an actual thing. There is actually a thing called the Curse of the Bear Ass. I have had... So I watch a lot of uh, Resident Evil speedrunners. And anytime that they do Remake 2, they and they get stuck on this bear bear's ass, because the hitbox is, like, right around here that it ends. It's basically a, a square. It, the geometry is actually square. It's not perfect geometry. And it's called the Curse of the Bear Ass. I've gotten stuck on it. I've seen so many community members get stuck on it. So, yeah, be sure to avoid the bear ass. But, um, the minute after you do that, you can go into here and do the method that I call a key swap. Um, basically hit square or I believe it's X on the uh xbox controller and then hit a on where the spade key is and it's going to swap the key and i call it and if you do it fast enough i call it a good key swap and you'll find out why in a minute but basically you want to put it into the second area so that you can quickly access it run all the way over to this door and immediately go to examine hit x and go to examine and you're going to want to do this quick of course uh, spin it around and it'll give you the heart key. Once again, just combine the quick turn and stair skating strats for these said stairs. Alright, so... If you're doing this on the next-gen versions, the minute you walk through that door, aim at the heart door... If you are on uh, DirectX 11 or on the old gen, you can actually move forward a little bit and shoot this door. So, back here, if you're on PS5 or Xbox series of consoles, up here, if you're on anything else. And grab it. This is basically a grab your shit and leave room. Make sure you put the gear up one. Uh, if you did your inventory management, you should be able to just hit up and then place it. And that'll be for later whenever we do the clock tower puzzle.
Go over here. Spin that. And you can actually bypass by just taking a nice sharp turn there. And leaving her alone. Now, if you're on hardcore standard, you are going to have to deal with her. Just shoot behind her uh, a little bit and it'll kill her. Here is Mr. X, the first encounter with Mr. X, and you definitely don't want X to give it to you. Um, so there are a couple of strats that you can use here. Um, the most optimal strat is to basically put him into the st uh, stunned animation. However, if you are not feeling confident about that, you can actually run him around the courtyard like you would do in normal play. But let's go ahead and do the proper strat. So stand over here, aim like right there. And then the minute that he starts moving, go ahead and shoot a rocket. Now, if you're more advanced, you'll get the timing down a little bit better and know exactly whenever you have to shoot the rocket. I know Sai can attest to this because I literally know exactly when to shoot the rocket and I immediately run the minute I shoot the rocket. All right, so remember when I said to move that over? This is because you're going to go be going through this door. So the minute, so you can always have easy access to just hit left, and then you can easily discard it because it's all right there. This liquor is a dick. As you as you just saw, he still slashed me. Uh, so the best way to deal with that liquor is to run forward make a right and then turn and then turn back and go through the hard door now there's a chance that that looker is still gonna fucking slash you uh because he is a massive tool um so if he does slash you unless you're going for a set like a sub 50 run um i would recommend just taking the slash and keep going if you need health it is literally right there Use the heart key to go through here, and then you're going to pick up the lever. Put it into the first slot, because we're going to be using it in a second. And then run back through here. And if you get the best RNG, you can just run all the way through. If you get the worst, you're going to have to go on the other side. And usually Mr. X is chasing you by now. I don't know where he actually is at the moment. But go ahead and move this over. If you did move it over earlier, it's going to be three movements. Two. And then three. And then if you did move it over, it's going to be two movements. So yeah, I usually just count in my head. Uh, I would still recommend getting the plant side. Um, yes, you do slowly heal up, but I would still recommend getting the plant because getting the plant is actually faster than waiting for uh, going up from warning to caution uh, inside it because, because Claire does run slower in warning. Uh, so I actually usually recommend just getting the, uh, getting the herb uh, if you do get hit and go down to warning. You should be able to take a hit anyway, but if you took a hit from Randy in the parking garage and you take a hit from that one, or uh, Randy in the hallway, then you might need to plan at that point. All right, so let's get to uh, another, like, binary strat. So if you are trying to get more advanced, you're going to want to run by these zombies. But beginners, shoot this railing. Uh, it can take a little bit of time to get right uh, and get the timing down so that you can do this fast. But shoot this railing, it'll kill both zombies. 
However, if you are trying to do a little bit more advanced, it is actually easy. It is actually more prudent to um to to let the zombie chase you a little bit. Claire does need to eat her veggies. So let's go ahead and backtrack, and I'll show you guys how to do these areas all properly. Oh, and I ran a little too early there. Don't run! Don't run! A, don't run too early. Okay, better move it. If you need to shoot a little further in as well, um, do do so. Like shoot a little bit further behind him. That was a bad dump. That would that would that's what I call a bad key dump. Oh, see, I got bad RNG there, so I have to go down this way. Oh, get off the thing. And if you do get Mr. X, Mr. X will fuck off here. If you're on assisted. If you're on standard or hardcore, uh, locate him and then shoot him. Because he won't fuck off here. Yeah, hear the Mr. X music. Alright, let's do the uh, quote-unquote professional strat here. Oh, I didn't get him to lunge at me, did I? All right, let's let's back up and do it again. I think I hugged the wall a little too much. Oh, that actually hit him. That don't do that. Don't actually don't actually hit Mr. X. I think I think my aunt, the one thing with assisted is that it'll do uh, auto lock. So be careful of that, um, because the auto lock can fuck you over, and it will reset itself. Okay, better move it. See, that was a good key dump. See, that's what I mean. Randy in the hallway, and he actually slashed me twice. Yeah, Randy in the hallway, he is a... He is an RNG nightmare. Oh, I got unlucky again with that. Very rude, Randy. Yes. Why won't he just stay down? For those that don't know why Mr. X actually fucks off, despite the fact that he's literally hot on your tail there, uh, so remember the loading and unloading of enemies. 
Um, Mr. X in assisted unloads. Okay, so run a little bit closer to this zombie, and if you get unlucky, he will bite you. Uh, that's not what's supposed to happen. But basically, as you run closer to him, you can make it through this door. It's a very narrow window, so there is always the chance that the zombie is going to grab you. But if you do it properly, it can save you. It can save you a couple of seconds. It is an advanced strat, though. It's not even in. It's not even a new game plus strat. It's actually a new game strat. So. Beginners, just shoot the railing like I told you. It'll be a much better time. So you're going to go ahead and place this. So like I said, if you have good um, menu practices, you can do all these puzzles really easy and easily on a controller. Um, because you'll, you'll have the items within very easy reach. Um and you'll be able to access them very quickly as well. That worked. All right, there's one more item swap that you're going to want to do, and that is swapping the box electronic part for the heart key. So just do the same thing. Uh, you can do the heart. I actually recommend doing the heart key and to the box electronic part. This zombie is kind of a joke, the policeman zombie. There's it's, there's a very, very, very low chance that he's going to grab you. Um, so just try to bypass him. Okay, so here there are two RNGs. Uh, both of them are actually okay. Uh, the, it, just, it just depends on uh, if you can run immediately straight through. It's like half of a second of a save if you get the best RNG. The zombie won't grab you. He lunges at you, but he sucks at the lunging. He lunges, uh, he lunges late, um, and he lunges behind you. It just depends if you're able to run directly in a straight line at the door, or if you have to hug the left side a little bit. It's not a huge, big deal if you get the worst R the quote-unquote worst RNG here. And you're going to do these box parts. So the best way to do the box parts is to, once you get them, examine and immediately turn to the right. It's going to give you the fastest route to being able to open them. Just spam your button. So doing this puzzle, I've never been able to do this puzzle as fast as other people have. Um, I'm pretty decent at it though. But basically, you're going to want to line it up so that it is uh, going down, left, up left um down wait hang on i'm stupid okay yeah down uh left up left down right right let me reload hang on and i i'll go through that a little bit slower because without visualizing i'm a very visual person so without visualizing it i can't really see it in my mind's eye So let's go back here. And this goes to show you that a lot of stuff is going to eventually just become motor or uh, just autopilot. Like I did that puzzle without even really paying attention. Okay, you're going to want to flip this to down, this to uh, right, this to uh, right, and then rotate this 
uh, three times until it is uh, going up, up, and then right. And then this upward. And then grab your key card. All right, so Sherry puzzle time. So best strat here is to actually walk backwards as Sherry until you're able to pick up the thing. So let's uh, start where Sherry usually is. Walk backwards and spam. And then immediately run forward. Examine the doll. You can, uh, if you go... If you do down and slightly left, uh, it's the fastest way. So Sherry puzzle is actually pretty simple. Um, so it's triangle star on the right side. It's going to be star square right here, circle star right here, and then triangle square and then square circle on the left. Um, the problem is that this is randomly generated. So I've had one where literally I was able to move the block over, turn it once, and it immediately uh, gave me the uh, win. Uh, Sherry Puzzle is, can be a run killer if you get it bad enough. What is this? So the best way to climb this thing is to actually have your camera kind of at this like awkward angle and if Sherry fucking climbs. Oh my god, Sherry, really? Climb, dude. Occasionally Sherry just doesn't want to climb. But if you keep it at that awkward angle, she should climb upward um, on the farthest right side. For whatever reason, she just decided not to climb this time at all. And the rest of this is pretty much pathing uh, up until you get to, you know, here. You can skip the front door. That's one big thing different from normal play, just skipping the front door. Alright, so the second that you exit the cutscene, immediately run right. This part is partially scripted, so... Uh, don't worry too much, um, but you are gonna want to move fast still. You stupid bitch, that's a dead end. Hide, hide, hide. So, you can actually wait here until you see him get close to the door. You can actually watch his hilarious run cycle animation. And then crouch. And then this part is again pathing. It's stuff that you're gonna do in normal play. It's all over now. Doors locked. We'll get to the next strat here in a second. Where are you? Show yourself. I know you're in here. The longer it takes me to find you, the worse it's gonna be. Man, my time is terrible. <laughs> bitch has gotta be here somewhere. Alright, so after you bypass him, there's a strat that I actually thought didn't work uh in the DirectX 12 or updated version of the game. It does. Um so go over God, here, crouch, and like hug these what are these mega blocks or something? And then once he flips his flashlight around, just uh, stand up and then push as far over to the right as you can. And then just wait. This is your last fucking chance. Show yourself. 
Now! Mm. Oh, fuck! Oh, it burns! And you can immediately run forward, and for whatever reason, it put, decided to put the uh, flip down my thing. The fuck is my key? But yeah, it saves you a few seconds from having to run from behind the desk. Um, I think like two seconds, and it's a and it's a gimme strat. It's it's not too advanced, uh, you know. It's a gimme. It's a gimme time save. All right, so for cage exit, Just you wait, asshole. you're actually going to, I know this sounds weird. You're going to want to slow down for a second for a good cage exit. So turn your camera to it like this and then walk out sideways and you will get a good cage exit. It's taken me many, many tries to get a good cage exit. Now you can still get stuck on the side of the cage occasionally. Uh, the door opens slow or something like that. Uh, and usually that's what I call a bad cage exit now. Um, but it's taken many, many tries for me to get learn the cage. Alright, for here, pretty easy strat. You see Mr. X, shoot this wall, knock him down, and you're good. Now you can just wait. Alright, wait for it. That noise. Oops, I I shot at the wrong spot. I need you actually need to shoot a little further in. Um, go for a hug and let him punch you in the face. No, we're not gonna do the cash strat. But yeah, once you hear that thunk, you can immediately shoot your rocket. All right, let's talk about the dog RNG for a second. Dogs are disgusting in this freaking game. Like, like, they are the biggest pains in the ass. Um, so there's a couple of dog RNG sections here. Let's talk. So let's talk about them. Don't worry about the dog that's on top of the car. He actually won't get you if you just run close to the car. Run right at this dog because he should wa uh, fuck off. If you do now, there's a chance that they'll lunge at you right before you hit that gate low, but it can happen. Run diagonally to dodge that one run next to the cop car. And that's, that's the other RNG. There's a chance that he attacks you. I'm actually glad that that happened. There's a chance that he actually attacks you instead of hitting the car. So let's go ahead and load back and see. I guarantee I'll probably get the uh, normal RNG. You again? Angry dog much bite. Yeah. I mean, the dogs in this game, they are, they're horrible for runners. We loathe the dog RNG. Looks like the only way forward. Oops, got stuck on the wall a little bit. Thank <laughs> you. 
Alright, so I should get the uh, standard RNG with this dog now, which is where he nails the he nails the cop car instead. Rocket shot that zombie. Come off this bus. Let the dog jump after you. That's gotta be the orphanage. And keep your eyes on the dogs because they will try another jump. Uh, there's a chance that the dog's still gonna get you if you, once you come off the bus, if he decides to lunge early or anything like that. And we have a lot of pathing to get through right here, so. So, are you enjoying the, uh, the speedrun rock through? Sherry? Where are you? Claire? Sherry? I'll be right there! Go, go, go! Keep going. Clear. Are you all right? Going down in the poop pit. Oh, yep. Can you hear me? So the minute that you exit this scene, immediately start going to the left. Don't stop. And Sherry, you should go down you pretty, or you should be able to go down pretty easily. Keep going. I used to actually get stuck in that room for like uh, a few seconds because I would always forget which path to go, but that's been a long time since. Alright. Immediately climb up and go here. Alright, Sai. So, so here is... There's actually three strats here. One strat is a strat that I made that I think works perfectly for beginner speedrunners. And that is that you shoot that window from down here. The minute that you come through that door, aim at the window and then fire. And I'll show you what that looks like. You'll see this zombie and you can just run right by him. Because he is actually missing one arm. So... Whenever you run right by him because he's missing one arm, he has a very bad chance of actually grabbing you. Hello, Deckerlink. Welcome into the stream. We are actually going through um, how to speedrun Resident Evil 2 New Game Plus. Sherry, where are you? Clear. All right, let's discuss Sherry? strat number two. And I may make a save. Um, I think that there is a save um, box uh, around that area that you come out of. Go go go! It may be through this door. Yeah. Yep. There it is. There's the typewriter. All right, we're gonna make a save right here. So that I can discuss these strats. Sherry, can you hear me? All right. So strat number two of those zombies that are actually up inside of that room is my go-to strat, which is actually cash strat, which is just dodging them. Here. 
You did it cool. You didn't shadow temple. Nice. All right. So whenever you go through here, get this guy to. He may not lunge at you, but basically just run around them, and then jump down. That's my preferred method. Uh, that's the one that I always use. Now there's a third one, and I'll go ahead and try it because I know Sai wants to see it happen. And that's called that's the grab cancel, which was. Uh, uploaded by Rep G Suspender, who is actually world record holder for the PC version of this game, New Game Plus Claire. But yeah, Sai is actually the one that recommended this strat to me, and I have been working on it. I am not good at it at all. Basically, you do that. Whenever he launches at you, you shoot up at the ceiling, and then immediately uh, it grab can the grab cancel animation occurs. Now, like I said, I'm not good at it, so I can't do it very quickly. So my go-to still is the cast strat, which is just dodging them. Yes, so let's talk about the grab cancel animation um, really quick. So there was a recent update to the most uh, current version of the game, which is the updated version of the PS5, Xbox Series consoles, and DirectX 12. That changed the AOE on the um, rocket launcher to where now the rocket launcher has a larger AOE effect. Um... The problem with this is that the grab cancel animation will not work any longer with the current version of the game. So if you are going to be using that strat, you have to be running the PS4, Xbox, sorry, Xbox One, or DirectX 11 version. If you are doing the PS5 or Xbox Series version, use one of the other two strats. They're the only strats that will work that will save actual time. Uh, because if you do the grab cancel, you will get you'll get a uh, re animation reset flinch and it'll lose time and you can pos the zombie can even possibly double down and sw and flip around and grab you. So we have to discuss that because there are there were changes recently. But anyway, let's go ahead and go back. You can immediately drop down here. Hold on, Sherry. But yes, I, I have confirmed that it does not work with the PS5 version anymore. It does give the animation flinch. Which sucks because it is, it is a good strat. It's a really good strat. And eventually, if I master it, I will, I will definitely use it on the PC version of the game. Hang on one second, let me get some Tums. I do have heartburn, so. Right here. Real easy. So you can make your way down the stairs and you'll see there's like a little uh, extended stair step here. Whenever, so let's go back up. Whenever you're going down the stairs, you're going to be using the scare skating until you reach that. Once you reach that, you're going to shoot. Um, so let's go ahead and do it. Now, you, where you want to shoot, you either want to shoot into this, like, area right here, or you just want to shoot, like, this gate. I think that the gate's a little bit... I just basically bring up the thing and then pull it up, pull it up enough to where I can just shoot. It doesn't really 100% matter, just as long as you don't shoot too close. Go ahead and hit that lever, and then go back this way. 
that is a new game plus uh, style strat right there where you hit the lever and then head backwards instead of just immediately heading backwards. Alright, so the G-Adults are really easy to take care of. First G-Adult, shoot there. Second G-Adult, shoot there. Or don't shoot there. Wow, dude, I, sh I can't believe I did that. I can't believe you've done this. Yeah, you're not waiting for the gate to open. And they ignored the third, uh, the third G adult. The third G adult is, um, kind of a joke at this point. So I kind of fucked up my inventory management there, as you probably saw. But it's okay, we will discuss that. You're gonna want King into the second spot. And then you're going to want the queen into the first spot. That's so that you can place these in these spots. You're going to go ahead and place them down. Go backwards here and grab the queen. Don't go actually through the gate. Then go back through the gate, turn right, and then grab the king. It's not being in a cage. Yeah, that zombie's kind of a joke, honestly. All right, here's 30 G adult. Don't shoot the wall, not not yourself. He's probably gonna. Yep. Make sure to shoot the wall, not yourself, uh, so that you can kill him. Obviously, I'm kind of doing this half cocked uh because i'm focusing on explaining what i'm doing this g adult pops up shoot this and it'll kill him more pathing more pathing actually a lot of pathing All right, so once you get through here, immediately just keep, just start, start running. And you should be able to bypass. Oh. Use the T-handle. Yeah, the PC version is usually, usually bullies me. Uh, so, here's something that I can definitely claim to. I actually created the strat of not picking up this hip pouch. Every, uh, New Game Plus will take the time to pick up this hip pouch. But since I, t since I do the inventory management instead, I don't need that hip pouch at all. And it saves time. And people say using cash strats in New Game Plus is a bad idea. Go ahead and move your Rook into the third spot as well. And move the T-handle over it whenever you grab it. More pathing.
All right, it's puzzle time. So for this, you're going to actually go to on the right side. Immediately go to the second, place down your queen, go forward, grab the rook, or I'm sorry, the bishop, place down your king, go back, place down your bishop, go here, grab the knight, grab, put the rook down, and then go here and put the knight down. Really simple. All right, Sherry. On my way. It's another area that I think you should practice a couple times to get the puzzle down. I just, I just did it live. <laughs> this one is another puzzle. This one's significantly easier though. It's just the, uh, it's one, two, and four that you have to hit. All right, shoot Birkin whenever he's up in the ceiling, and then run over to this door. Shoot. Shoot. And then wait. Should have known you wouldn't die. Oh shit, he's fast this time. Hit the button. And immediately turn around and shoot. Because if you get a fast Birkin 2, then he will be right on your ass. Clearly, I got a fast Birkin 2. And you're supposed to be able to uh, hit him, but he didn't actually lunge at me, so I was able to hit the button and then shoot him again. Uh, he just did. He just went into his flurry attack. Um, I'm so sorry, Sherry. So this is yeah. Forever. <laughs> Ned said her lab's not far. Wait, that cable car. We're getting near the end, guys. Hold on, Sherry. You're gonna be fine. <sighs> almost there, Sherry. We're almost there. <sighs> oh, good. Cable car. Now, I'm going to say this. Nest is arguably the easiest for beginner speedrunners. But let's go ahead and discuss another strat that I, I'm pretty sure actually works. So whenever you hear that, hit the, hit the ground with the rocket, pause, wait for a few seconds. Uh, and, before, and whenever you get better, you'll be able to time it so that you can actually shoot the ground before um, it actually says anything. And then unpause, and it'll go to fade out. And if you hit the ground before she says anything, it'll actually save you about two seconds. I think it's about one and a half um, if you do whenever she starts. So for here, just walk to the uh, walk in this like area between the wall and the thing, and it'll immediately activate this, and it'll allow you the shortest path to getting to uh this to open put this into the second slot believe it or not you can put the via or the wristband to the second slot come through here Shoot this wall, because it's going to kill a zombie that's on the side, and then just run through here. This area is uh, pretty easy to deal with.
And there's the zombie that's down dead. Combine this. And we're on pathing for a little bit of time. So while we're on the pathing, let me make it very abundantly clear, clear um, when I say that I think Resident Evil 2 is the most friendly game for starter speedrunners. I am not saying that doing uh, Resident Evil 2 speedruns are remotely easy. It takes a lot of time and a lot of practice. I've been doing this for ten or two months, um, or a little under two months, I think, right now. Um, I think I'm a few days from my two month. Uh, speed running and in that time um, I have had many failed runs and I have learned a lot all right code here that it's gonna be two zero um, six and I think that's a seven. And then it's three, one, two, three. And then you're going to go ahead and get this vial. Dispensing solution now. And the reason why I said to move the wristband into your second slot. Okay, sorry. Um, is so that you can have the vial in your first. This puzzle is really easy. So you're going to go, go right, hit the fill button, all the way right, left, left, and then uh, left, hit this button, and then fill again. Right, all the way, hit that button. Left, hit that button. Left, hit this button. And then you're done. It's a really routine regiment, and once you get it down, it's not too hard to understand. You can do it with that. You can basically do this puzzle with your eyes closed once you get it down. All right, and if you get lucky with this, uh... Ivy down here, you, you should stay at the end and you can immediately shoot him. Otherwise, you're going to have to... Um, I'd recommend for beginners that they shoot him right away whenever you come down the stairs. Uh, but if you get lucky enough, you will be able to have him stay there. Alright, right here, immediately aim up the ceiling because we're about to have a liquor drop down. And then you can run through here. So here are the stairs. So these stairs are where the right turn and the stair skating become crucial. And it's because there's a body that drops. I'm sure that if you've done pathing, you already know from your normal play that this body will stumble you. But if you can go fast enough up these stairs, you can actually avoid the body stumbling you and save about a second. And I, I'm still not perfect on these stairs. Let's be clear. I'm still not perfect on these stairs. I still have the body stumble me often. So best thing to do is go ahead and shoot right there. And if you're lucky, it'll kill both of them. If it does not, um, what you're going to want to do is... Make sure to uh, shoot whenever you see them. You can run all the way up into here. And I actually got bad placement on zombies. So, But usually you should be able to shoot about right here. Um, and it'll destroy all the zombies in that area. But I got bad placement. Not a big deal. Uh, let me actually... Actually, you know what? 
No, because it's going to put me too far back. Um, I was going to say, let me load a save and we can discuss if you get the proper placement, but it'll put me too far back. Uh, just know that usually if you'll have better zombie placement than I did. Now, if there is a zombie that's over here as well, uh, hugging the left wall is your friend. And if he happens to make his way into here, uh, you can sometimes hug the right wall or you can decide to shoot at the ceiling. And deal with him. Welcome back, Dr. Lee. You have five new messages. Ooh, damn. Should I pack? It's my parka. Cooling complete. And then a lot of pathing. A lot of pathing here. station warning you have dispersed a dangerous solution without authorization your actions have been locked and you may be subject to disconnect all right so you can bypass all these ivies by just taking sharp turns it, they're basically free gimmies if you're doing it on assisted so you can bypass this ivy too Unless he decides to be a dick and actually grab you. So if you're a beginner, this is the reason this is one of the good reasons why to have your uh, infinite knife in case you get a dick move like that Ivy did. Shoot these Ivies to knock them down because they will grab you. The chance of you getting good uh, RNG on the Ivies in the hallway is low. Welcome back, Sai. Sorry, something happened. I actually got grabbed by the ivy in the greenhouse uh, room. The, you know the ivy that I always run past? That never grabs me? Yeah, I decided to grab me this time. So let's talk about the signal modulator for a second. The signal modulator, you probably already know from your normal game, but it can be the biggest time loss in anything. The delay on YouTube. Uh, I should be on Twitch side if you want to flop over to there or flip over to there, I should say. Yeah, my Twitch should be up. Yeah, and at some point I may end up... Uh, I hate to do it because I hate the fact that I'm I'm going to be limited to uh, 6,000 bit rate. Thank God. But um, twitchy time. I may switch to ultra low latency on PC site and just deal with 1080p streaming. Um, at least for speed runs. Class A Okay, I got bad Birkin uh, for RNG. Um, so normally, if you get good Birkin for RNG, uh, that was like really bad Birkin. I think that was like a six or seven shot Birkin for, or I'm sorry, Birkin three. Class A that was better Birkin RNG. 
Target has been neutralized. Ending the best Birkin RNG uh, there is a four-shot Birkin three. It is a rare to to thing to happen, though. You, your usual is going to be five-shot. Yeah, normal for uh, normally it's going to be five shot. If you get a four shot, you got really lucky. You got the best RNG and it's super rare. I think it's like like a quarter of a percent to get four shot Birkin. Sherry, can you walk faster? I don't want to rush you, but that, uh, to go. <coughs> that being said, getting a six or seven shot Birkin three is not a run killer. Matter of fact, my current PB of 4953, uh, I believe it is, is actually with worst Birkin RNG there. And you can skip Sherry's dialogue there. Two scripted events really close together. Yeah. Um, once you get here, the rest of the the rest of the run is easy. Once you get to this point, I usually say that everything is cake from here. So that strat that I just used, uh, there are two strats that you can use there. You can hold the door open for Sherry and just watch her, uh, or you can run and then um, you can actually do uh, shoot a rocket at her and she won't try the door twice. Oops. You're going to want to kill all these guys. Uh, it's supposedly sh it's speed Sherry up in this moment. Yes, this section I, I uh, call the Sherry Shuffle. It is a long section of just waiting for Sherry to open up this door. Should be about now. I got it. Huh. Nice work. Shoot the wall to kill him. Sherry, you hanging in there? I'm right behind you. Had a girl. I think we're almost out of here. Worth a try. It'll go into space. Yeah. And if you shoot the door for whatever reason, it doesn't affect him. All right. All that item management led up to this moment because it puts that, uh, that little power coupling in your first slots. Right here, you're just gonna shoot. Just keep shooting and shooting and shooting and making your way over to the right. And if you don't make your way over to the right enough, you are gonna get in a bad 
situation like I'm in right now. Where you're gonna get a lot of flinching and a lot of scuff. Uh, let me actually, yeah, this is bad. So let me, um, let me do this properly. Oh, wow, it's spacing you out with a weird camera angle. And make sure you're not shooting him directly. Shoot the, uh, like, the floor next to him and stuff. And there you go. That's Birkin. Uh, Birkin 4. He's kind of a joke. And you're done. That is your, uh, run. Which, this is the worst time that I've gotten in, uh, Resident Evil 2 in, man, a while. A long while. It's been, a, it's been a hot minute since I've gone over an hour in this game.